to God to get the secret and say, look at that. He'd kick us out if he needs to dig me too. That's not my queen. Next to the air fryer. I think you guys afford an air fryer, but it's not her place. How is Zach's grandfather invented the air fryer instead of Wonder Bread? Zach? Like, Zach? Zach? I wonder if my family is worth more. What? Time. How long have you guys had this domain? Any idea when we signed the lease? February? Since February. Pretty sure that restaurant closed like months ago. And then we need to get you there by 12.30 for Cynthia because if we miss another lunch with Kristoff, I'm not going to hear the end of it. Um, can you promise me that you're going to make it there on time? Do you think those windows are made out of normal glass? What? That building over there, it's nothing but windows. How can regular big glass be so strong to keep the whole thing up? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, it must be special glass because just last night I dropped my wine glass and it shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> I'll ask their doorman. Perhaps he knows. Wait, uh, no, 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 no. Because we don't have time for that. And why is that? Because you have a meeting right now with Jamie at Teen Boat. A meeting at 6 p.m. on a Friday? Who scheduled that? I did. Because, because you missed the 3 p.m. meeting on Wednesday because you somehow didn't make it on time for the short walk there. Well, I just saw a dog with the most exquisite sweater on. Okay, that's great. So then tell Jamie at Teen Vogue that he is less important than a dog. Well, it's Teen Vogue. Let's not get carried away here. OK. Um. Hi, Jamie. She wants to pet a dog. We're not going to make it on time. I believe I got off work tonight. You? How did Rose take it? Let's just hope the fashion scene is still standing by tomorrow. And I told her she could call me, but tonight I'm focused on this. Very nice. And he's fresh. How can you tell? I can't. I'm just kind of like hoping. Yeah, he looks fresh. Thanks. You and Keith have a very important job tonight. More important than this? <laughs> I'm nervous. I haven't had a first date in a while. Okay. I need you to pour more shots. And just keep them coming every 15 minutes. Sure, I guess. Keep them coming. Because mm -hmm. this is serious. Is that well? It it's just better. The trains still run on coal? No, it's almost all electric now. But I could have sworn the Polar Express was still running on coal. Oh, you mean the magic train that doesn't need tracks and brings kids to see Santa? Yeah, seems pretty accurate. Please. Let's get ready to party! Come on, everyone. Ubers don't wait for everyone. Actually, they do. It's like the whole point. And they don't come until everyone pays for the last five rides, so... Mm. I'll get the rest of you later. Henry, this is a pack of gum, a math book, and a crumpled up Metro card. Yeah, but the Metro card still looks five bucks, huh? B. Just put it on my tab. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Thanks. So, we're just waiting on Clark? Yeah, I think we might be waiting for a while. too much. You? No. I don't give myself the chance to find love. Not like you and Zach have. Hey, we're just focused on different things. Look, I mean, I, I told you I'd quit this job about a year ago, and here I am. And you are, I mean, you're taking on the world by storm. Look, we're killing it. We're just 
hitting different milestones. Look, and I really, really believe that we're going to find our oh, happily ever that after. Hi. Um. No, Rose, I, I don't know if the stuffed pepper you ate was vegan. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. Okay, bye. It's not any easier. It's really bad. Yeah. Sounds like the horn section is having an orgy in there. Not sure we're gonna make it out tonight. Sounds good to me. Maybe this time I'll actually be able to keep some money in my pocket this weekend. Okay, what's going on with you tonight? Hey, how about a game? Love you, Henry, but if I'm stuck inside on a Friday night in my early 20s again playing Ticket to Ride, I'm going to throw myself off of the fire escape. Let's not be passive-aggressive. You're on thin ice, kid. And you've been pretty thin lately. And our walls are thin, so let's keep the noise down. Is uh, anyone up for a game of war? I remember having spare cash before you moved in. And I'm looking for someone who's not being a little bitch, but I can't see one. <laughs> Maybe we should play Clue. No, Rose, I, I have no idea why Stefano would have blown you off. I'm, I mean, yes, it might have something to do with the fact that you called his entire summer collection tacky and tired. I, yes, yes, I would just, I would sit with Vera and Mark for the rest of the night. Okay. He's not coming. Well, you know, maybe he heard about this beautiful woman who drank the bar dry. <laughs> Good one. <sighs> All right, come on. Let's get you home. We tried war. Nobody wanted to hear my pitch to add bullet trains and tickets to ride. I even tried including Clark and Clue, which was no good. It was you two with the personal insults in the living room. And I should have known better than to break out Monopoly. Well, not all of our families come from Park Place. Oh, it's crazy. They still end up owing me money, even in Monopoly. Stop. Just stop. This is our last option. Perfect. Let Zach start with the nicest house and the nicest car and no debt! Actually, it just you should have driven from the van instead of driving around. That's it. I can't help how I grew up. And regardless, I'm still here struggling just like you. What is even happening? I am so sorry that the man in George only liked one half of the B and C experience. To be fair, he didn't like me that much either. Not my fault that you couldn't get cast even if you broke both of your legs. Huh? Where did you learn that one? George Clooney's acting camp. I told you that would hurt me. <laughs> Stop freaking out! I'm so sorry that my dreams are happening and yours aren't. You wrote one episode of Sesame Street, and it was a shitty episode. How dare you? Oh, you didn't even Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Hey. <laughs> you have a key too? Are we running a hostel here? Christ. Whoa. Who's wrong with you? Stressful night. Ooh, yeah, Zach was telling me about that. We should have just played Yahtzee. Nobody ever gets hurt <gasps> playing Yahtzee. You take him, I take her. Uh-huh. Excuse me. 
you see this girl? No, it doesn't look familiar. Any idea what she wore? No idea. This is our, or was our first date. Got held up at work. But she has this really warm smile, gorgeous hair. Hopefully talks with one of those classic Long Island accents. Well, cheers. Oh, man. That's the Brit. Wow. Oh, wasn't meant to be.